Hello, this is Tom from Never Center. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features that we've got in Silo 2022.2. It's a lot of twos. Um, and the first uh, that I'd like to show you is this Align Distribute window. So this can be found in the Modify menu. Choose Align Distribute right here. And then that'll pop open that window. So um, it's pretty obvious probably what this does. You can guess, but I'll just show you. Um, so if I take this column and I copy and paste it a few times and um, have these, you know, obviously not evenly distributed and maybe I'll, let me make them also uh, not aligned very well. Let's make them very poorly aligned. Um, so what you can do is you can select multiple objects and these don't have to be selected in any order, by the way, it'll just figure it out. But um, if I select all these, um, I come over here and say I hit align by Z so we can see the Z axis is this blue one. So when I hit align Z, it will align all of those along that blue axis, the Z axis. And I can hit align um, Y to align them vertically. And you'll notice, um, let me undo that. Uh, with this, I can choose align by and it will choose either the average of all of the elements or I can have it use the first or the last element. So if I know that this one is where I want them all to be, um, and then I select these others, and I uh, had that one selected first, and I choose first element, then when I align by Z, you'll notice this one right here won't move. Align Z, and then they all align to that one. And uh, that's handy again, you know, if you've got one that's in a particularly uh, good spot, you can choose align Y using the first element, and it will do that for me. Um, now distribute uh, is a similar thing, as you can imagine. So um, the axis that I'd want to distribute these along um, to put them evenly along here is the X axis, the red one. So I'd hit distribute X, and then that will distribute them nicely there. Um, do note that if like, you know, these are on different um, planes. I can still do distribute X and it won't move them along the Z or the Y axis. It will only move them along the X axis. So if I hit distribute X there, you can see, um, I can see that they're evenly distributed. If I go to the front orthographic view, you can see that they're evenly distributed along the X axis. Um, so, uh, and I can do a similar thing if I want to distribute these along the Z axis. Um, and then if I choose the uh, right or left orthographic view, you can see that they're evenly distributed there as well. Um, now this will work uh, not only with object selections, let's get these a little less crazy looking, line Z, distribute X, line Y, all right. Um, this works not only with object selections, but with like face or vertex or edge selections. So if I just go into face mode, let me just move these up so you can see what's happening. Uh, it will use like face centers when it's doing, say, uh, distribute or align. So if I distribute these along X, then it will just move that one that was out of place so that these faces are all evenly distributed in the X axis. And it will use edge centers and vertices uh, to do that. So um, again, distribute these evenly just because it's driving me crazy when they're not. Um, the second big thing that we added in this version of Silo is space mouse support. Now, if you don't know what a space mouse is, it's a hardware interface. I'll uh, try to embed it in a video here that you can see. Um, but as I, uh, turn and push and rotate on this 3D mouse device, it lets me use it or move in all six axes um, of freedom, as they call it on their, their website, all at once so that I can, uh, you know, I can select something and then I can easily sort of intuitively move around it and I can have things like, you know, I can keep my left hand on my mouse and, um, do this navigation or my right hand on my mouse do this navigation with my left hand and then it's uh, just sort of intuitive lets me 
intuitively lets me move it around. Um, and the way that this works is a little bit different on Mac than it is on Windows because their SDKs for each of those are different right now. Um, but 3D Connection tell us that they'll be unifying those. So soon this will work exactly the same on both. But on Windows in particular, you'll notice you can rotate it in a way that you can't usually rotate the camera in silo. And we allow this just so that the, the space mouse behaves identically in silo as it does in other applications. Um, and um, I'll just try to show. So the, the way that the space mouse works, I can push forward or backwards on the space mouse. So pushing forwards pushes the object away, pulling backwards towards me pulls the object towards me. I can rotate so that I'm like twisting to the left or the right clockwise or counterclockwise. So this is a twist clockwise, which is rotating the model clockwise. And this is uh, twisting counterclockwise to rotate the model counterclockwise. And then if I literally pull up on the space mouse, it pushes my model up and pushing down pushes my model down. So that's how that works. Um, quite intuitive. And like I say, if, uh, if you get your camera wonky like this, then going back to your keyboard and rotating using the regular uh, whatever you've got assigned alt and left mouse button or whatever to rotate, then it will correct that axis and keep the camera up pointed in the positive Y or negative Y direction. Um, there's also some great bug fixes in this, some things with international characters and with um, viewport images. You can see the release notes for more details about that. But um, please, if you find bugs, report them to us and we'd love to fix them. So we hope that you will enjoy this update. Um, as always, in the help menu, you can use send feedback option to send us ideas or bug reports, and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.